with the ninth pick in the 1997 NBA draft, the Toronto Raptors select Tracy McGrady from Mount Zion. And now you're sitting up here, the ninth pick in the draft. How did your life change and why? Um, it changed because, you know, I just like to thank God first, you know. I had a lot of people supporting me, and I really worked hard to get to the particular point that I'm at. I, I drafted McGrady in Toronto. And the thing that I saw in him that I loved about him in high school was that he did everything so easily. And it gave the appearance that he was nonchalant, he didn't care. But when you really broke it down on film, he was fast, he was athletic, he was quick. So consequently, he would always be there waiting. When I look at McGrady, I, I, it reminds me of why Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan. Why Larry Bird is Larry Bird. It's not just talent. There's got to be a fire in the belly. There's got to be a competitive edge where you want to kill the guy across from you. And I've never played with Tracy. I've never had a conversation with him. But he's as talented as any player I've ever seen. Who's the toughest guy you ever played against? Always gave me the most problems actually was Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady with his, you know, he, he had all the skills and all the athleticism. Um, but he was 6'9. And he was really, really tough to beat. Team Mac wanted to be great. He wanted to dominate. And he wanted to be the king on the court. And I'll just say this he went from unknown <laughs> to the best player in the country. Really? In one game. It was unbelievable. I, I, I was like, who, who is this kid? Who, who is this dude? He was, he was the, along with him and Tim Tom, T Mac was the best high school player I've ever seen. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about. Telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that. Telling me, telling me things about rap. Talking the truth and that stab in my back, they will knock me off track, no, no. Too many things have been building, been hard to deal with, I just been drinking. Remember my moves in the past, I'm wondering what was I thinking Lately I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near All of this shit going on, the shootings are strong One shot to the head and I'm gone, I'm losing control but I can't let it go Cause I'm trying to get more and I've been in a moment I've been in a zone and I'm moving alone I don't pick up the phone with my family call I've been doing it wrong and I don't know what's happening Trying to get what I've just been imagining Getting close and I've just been examining All of the fake shit the game has been packaging Come from a town where most of the people are so close-minded They go into school and they work in a job but they don't even like it I won't be put in a box, nobody telling me what I should rock Nobody telling me what I should drop cause I do what I want and just know I don't stop Recording till 4 in the morning, they snoring, I'm pouring my soul into every story I'm writing, producing, I mix it, I master, I'm building my craft and I'm not looking back I've been going doing things I wanna do when I want to Everybody wanna get away but they not do Everybody wanna copy you but they not you Everybody wanna be cool but they not new Whoa, look how I go, gonna be a dentist, I still got the flow Never gonna lose cause I'm still doing both, never gon' lose cause I've been on the road Come to your state and I'm killing the show Know that I'm young and I still gotta grow Know that I'm working the most, no I'm never gon' choke And I'm looking back down on the people below Ladies and gentlemen, Tracy McGrady Yes, thank you guys, appreciate it Zeke, I don't know what you saw brother uh, I appreciate that, I appreciate you Having me fulfill my childhood dreams by drafting the ninth overall. Always, always my biggest cheerleader. Coming to all my games and you being the absolute loudest person in the gym. And, and even when I was a professional, you were the loudest person in the gym. 20,000 people, I hear your voice. Thank you very much. To my wife, who I've been with for 20 years, God has given me a woman that has proven to be a beautiful mother, a wonderful wife. Amazing friend, and I thank God for you every single day. I love you. Now back to that elevator story I was telling you about. Although what I couldn't do with my wife requested me seven months ago to tell myself in that mirror that I deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, well, on this day, I can proudly say yes, I deserve to be here. I am truly humbled, I'm grateful, and proud to be in the class of 2017. Thank you very much.